Hi everyone, it's Derek from the iReady podcast here and this is my reaction to the 5-0 victory against Ross County in the Premiership today. Absolutely fantastic, relentless performance from start to finish. We never lit up at all and that's every time I think we've dropped points. Well, I see every time, it's only been three times this year so far in the, in the, in the league. The, the team, the next team that we've played have got an absolute doing and today was, I think, a result of the, the disappointment of the, the Motherwell game. To a man, every player was brilliant today. We'd never taken the foot off the gas at all, and it was fantastic to see five different goal scorers today, and even a missed penalty as well. Just brilliant. Obviously, not the missed penalty, mind you, but one change from the Motherwell game. Hellander came in for Balligan today. Not that it made much difference anyway, because the defence weren't really called into action all that often. Granted, uh, Ross County did have a couple of chances, a couple of dangerous moves. Um, unfortunate, they did play more openly than I expected them to do, but uh, maybe that was a bit of their naivety that, that came into that there, but. I'm glad we did because it left gaps at the back and, and we exploited them to the full extent today. The first half, it was a relentless first half, high tempo, going for the jugular from the off and we never taking the foot off the gas. Ross County played fairly open, they paid the price for it. We had all the possession, we were knocking the ball about well with some really in inventive passages of play. We took advantage of that early on as well. On the fifth minute we went a goal up. A lot of possession and pressure ending in Tavenier floating across from the middle into the back left post. A lovely cushioned header by Morelos back into the middle of the box. And Kent had a lovely floating header over the keeper into the post of Tampa as well. Just a, a, a fantastic goal. Just great vision from, from Tavenier to float the ball. Incredibly well done from Morelos as well because there was a possibility he could have maybe tried and directed the goal bound himself. But he was under pressure. Seen Kent was in space in the box and Kent with a looping header into the back of the net. Brilliant. 12th minute, three words you love to hear, penalty to Rangers. Morelos robbed the ball off the defender close to the box. He drove it into the box, the defender clipped Morelos from behind, penalty given. Arguably could have been a red card, was a goal scoring opportunity. He was about to take a shot. The referee obviously deemed it the fact that, he, that the defender was going for the ball, which I suppose when you look at it then that might have been the case. Up steps Tavenier a minute later and it was a poor penalty, whereas I thought the last penalty he missed was a fairly good penalty, he just put it off target. This was just a really poor one, he tried to place it to the left, there was no pace in it whatsoever, the keeper made a really easy save. Two penalty misses in succession for Tavernier. this is what happened last year, he came off penalties after, a, after missing two, and we really didn't find our form with penalties for a number of tries again after that. So hopefully he's there for the next one as well. And it just gives him a wee bit of a kick. And maybe it was a bit of complacency that stepped up in this penalty and, and maybe the last one. But um, he just needs to get back on that horse. We kept on playing away in complete control. And we went 2-0 up on the 28th minute with Hellander scoring. Barisic with a lovely corner from the left, right in at the centre of the box. And Hellander with a towering header, under no pressure whatsoever, straight into the back of the net on the left side of the goal. Just incisive, clinical and easy because he wasn't getting marked at all. We went 3-0 up on the 36th minute with Aribo scoring and it was an absolute stunner of a goal. Aribo went down the right, he got to the touchline, he cuts it back which outfoxes the defender who had came with him. He drives the ball into the box, took on the other defender and then hit a brilliant shot from a fairly tight angle as well into the far side corner. Just a brilliant goal. That's a player today that, that Sean, I felt, there was a lot of stars on the team today but he upped his game once again he would have been a bit quiet the last three or four games, choosing the wrong options, but today was immense and that was probably that, that goal certainly capped it off and again showing what he can do. So into half time, very pleased at that, obviously 3-0 up game effectively over. Going into the second half expecting more of the same. It nearly was all undone though, because straight from the off, straight from the kickoff, in fact, Ross County got the ball up the park, had a shot from the right side, just outside the box, off the inside of the right right post, and spins across the goal and eventually cleared. All it taken was a follow-up player hadn't to be there, he would have tapped it in an open net, really dangerous. Um, we just caught maybe on the on the hop after the break there. Ross County certainly were a wee bit brighter in the second half and they had a couple of chances. They did have one in the 53rd minute when they had a header in the box after the ball was floated in. Everyone almost stopped as if it was going over, but it hit the bar and then back into play. McGregor was absolutely rooted as well, so had it been on target, I'm pretty sure it would have been in because, as I said, he was rooted and it looked as if that he felt that it was going over the bar, but maybe a, a bit of a let off there. Still though, we were by far the better team. All the possession, a lot of inventive play, we were working the ball into the box. They, their keeper made a couple of great saves. 
We made four substitutions, yes, four on the 61st minute with Morelos Davis, Kamara, Aribo off and then Jack Defoe and, and Zungu came on. And less than five minutes after coming on, Jack makes it 4-0. An absolute outstanding move. Free flow and one-touch football ending and Hadji getting the ball down the right. Cuts it back to Jack on the inside of the box. Took a slight bobble just before he was about to shoot as well, but it didn't put him off at all and a blasted, he blasted a shot into the bottom corner uh, and it nestled into the net. Brilliant. And what a way to cap off your comeback as well. A few minutes later, Tavernier off and Patterson on. Again, by far the better team. The game was well and truly over at that point. 80th minute, we went 5-0 up with Goldson scoring. Corner in from Barisic from the left, into the middle of the box. Goldson stoops low, and he gets his head to it and puts it into the right side of the goal. Just He didn't need to do much. Their defence was, was abysmal when it came to marking today, but we took full advantage of that and it, it was great to see. That rounded out the game, absolutely delighted with that. That's the type of performance we want to see all the time and don't let the fact that they were sitting third bottom of the table fool you because obviously Motherwell were sitting bottom of the table last week and they managed to pull off the result. Completely different set of circumstances though because Motherwell played fairly defensive for, for really 70 minutes of that game. Ross County, to their credit, they wanted to try and play football. They opened up a bit, but they ultimately paid the price and it's always great to see when, when a team get an absolute hammer like that. So, with Celtic bizarrely not playing today, that puts us another three points ahead of them. Points on the board, and as we've seen midweek with their games in hand, just because their games in hand doesn't mean they're going to win them. So, points on the board, that's the main thing. Roll on now to the next game, which is on Wednesday the 27th. That's an 8pm kickoff against Hibernian. That's going to be a, a tough game again. They obviously got a result against us uh, against Celtic. They played well against us the last time. I think they got the result as well. So, need to be on our toes, just need to keep on playing. Celtic are playing that night as well, so we'll see what happens there. So, Dave and I won't be back this week, I don't think, with a podcast probably next week, but we just uploaded their main podcast yesterday, the, our latest episode, episode 13, so you can all check that out if you go to our website, which is iReadyPodcast.wordpress.com. So, enjoy the rest of your weekend, thanks for listening, and goodbye. <laughs>